there, this is Cam McLeod from uh, Manhussey with VancouverIsAwesome.com. I'm talking here on the world's tiniest microphone with Handles from the Harlem Globetrotters. How you doing, Handles? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Cam. Awesome. Fantastic. It's a beautiful day out. You can't argue with that. Am I right? Oh, it's an amazing day. Beautiful. The sun's out. Just great weather. Now, uh, Handles, um, where are you from? I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the capital of PA. Being in Vancouver, what's your favorite thing about Vancouver so far? Oh, well, there are a number of things. I have to say it's a beautiful place. I love, I love the fact that it's so beautiful. You have the mountains and the water, and I love all of the cultures here. It's just uh, so, many, so many different cultures coming together to jail to make it such a great city for me. Yeah, a nice little mishmash of everybody, right? Yeah, yeah a little, yeah. little mishmash of everybody. That's, <laughs> that's it. At a Harlem Globetrotters game, what can people expect to see? You know what? You can expect a lot. A uh, Harlem Globetrotter game is like no other game. We've been able to emotionally connect to and thrill every member of the family. So not only will fathers and sons have a good time, but also mothers and daughters and grandparents. So you'll see a lot of high-flying slam dunks, amazing ball handling, and fresh comedy, of course. Oh, yeah, always the fresh comedy. Love that. Oh, yeah. You know, on the, morning, on the morning of a big game, you know, you got to get ready for a big game. You obviously got uh, the stretches that you do. Yeah. You've, you've got uh, maybe some other things that you do to prepare for a game. Yes. Uh, now, one of those things is eating breakfast. Uh -huh. what, what do you eat for breakfast on the, big, on the big day? Well, you know what? We try our best to, uh, to, to eat a, a healthy meal. Now, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So I like to have uh, an egg white omelet, um, some fresh fruit, and uh, maybe a little thing of yogurt and some orange juice. Oh, all right. That sounds very healthy, very healthy indeed. I have waffles with syrup all the time. I don't think. <laughs> Is that going to cut it? Well, I don't know if that will cut it completely, but at least you're putting something in your stomach to work yeah, on. Yeah, i got to start with something. What are some of the things that uh, the Globetrotters do for the community? Well, we do a number of things. We do a number of things. First, uh, we pride ourselves in not only being good basketball players, but also ambassadors of goodwill. So it's important that we always do things for the community. Um, we've, we've done a number of things. We uh, just today alone went to speak uh, to some kids in elementary schools. We always do that. And, uh, and we right now we're talking about being active spin program. We have some playtime is necessary. So we go around encouraging kids to be active, working on the issues of childhood obesity. We, we visit kids at hospitals and uh, uh, children that are, that are uh, sick, so we, we do a lot, of, a lot of visiting children's hospitals. That was a poll. That was a poll. <laughs> yeah, and that was on purpose, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw it in his eyes. He just, you know, <laughs> let me know what was up, and I took it. Um, so, yeah, you just generally, you want, you want to brighten people's day. Always. That's what we try to do. We try to put smiles on faces. That's our goal. Yeah, that's great. I guess I have one last question for you. Okay. Um, it's kind of an important one to me, uh, being that I love basketball, and uh, okay. I've watched you guys since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, what does it take to become a Globetrotter? You know what? You have to be one of the best in the world at what you do. But not only do you have to be a great basketball player, but you also have to be a great person. You know, we, we pride ourselves in being role models to kids, and I think you fit that category. I fit that category? But let's see if you can do the other half. I don't know if you can do that. Play basketball? Can you play basketball? Oh, I can play basketball. I played basketball starting guard in grade 8. So I, I got some skills. Okay, now that may qualify you to play basketball, but I'm not sure if it quite qualifies you to be a Harlem Globetrotter. Now, you are donning the amazing colors. Yeah, I got the colors down. I got some stars. Yeah, I see a couple of star or two. Yeah, it's the 76ers. It's, it's not the Globetrotters. It's not Harlem, but it's Philly. That's almost... Well, uh, I'm from Pennsylvania, so I, I, I like the colors. And, and one of our greats, the great Wilk Chamberlain, played for the Sixers. He also played with the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters. Well, then maybe I got a chance. Okay, you want to yeah. take it to the court? Well, let's take it to the court. Let's take it to the court. So are you ready? Do I look ready?
I like these tricks. I like these tricks. I got some tricks. Doesn't make you good enough to be a Harlem Globetrotter. Oh, uh, thanks for thanks for letting me try. You guys are amazing. When you guys come back, can we have a rematch maybe just for fun? You know what? I'm looking forward to that rematch. I'm looking forward to seeing you, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. April 17th in Vancouver at the GM Place, which is right behind us, right there. And. On the 18th, we'll be in Abbotsford. So I hope to see you either on the 17th in Vancouver or on the 18th in Abbotsford. Kiss from Handles. Whoa. 